This is the Go Video DB2130 combo player, and it's recently been cleaned. So, um, so here's our remote for the uh, combo player. So we'll just turn it on, and you'll hear a little that little sound. It's just like something it always does. And we can switch between VCR and DVD. Okay. Sometimes if you just put a DVD in, DVD in or VHS tape, it'll automatically change. Let's go ahead, get our remote control, eject. We'll put in movie here. Close it up. Start loading up. So there's the pause function. It's obviously weekend of Bernie's. We're not gonna play very much for copyright reasons. Scene next. Okay. Let's go back scene. That all works. So. All right. So that works. We'll stop it. Remote works fine on the DVD side, so let's eject. Okay. Yeah, let's close it. Let's switch over to DVD VCR. Let's get ourselves a VHS tape. This is Night of the Living Dead. In there, Leto. Too many ways those monsters can get in up there. So, fast forward, scan works fine. Upstairs, I heard a news rewind scan works fine. By that. Pause. It's fine. Right. Does anyone up there know why we're stop? Let's do a, a high speed rewind. So you can see it rewinds fine. Stop. We'll do a fast forward. <coughs> and stop. Okay. Let's eject VHS. See, tape is fine. Tape. So that's about it. It's got some line ins on the front. You've got your standard uh, 
line in, line out, and then you've even got some component uh, outputs. And then over here, this is probably digital coax, I think. And even in S, uh, S video, S video, and even an optical too. Okay, I don't think anybody really, really uses S video anymore, but you know it's good to have if if you want. So it can pretty much handle most um, outputs. That's it. You know, the only thing about it is that the uh, top is a bit grungy. You tried to clean it, but it was just stained with, you know, stuff that got put on top of it. And tried to get rid of it, but it didn't really come out. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.